Meet ZoomLock, the 10-second flame-free refrigerant fitting from Parker. Reduce labor costs by 60% with no brazing, no flame, and no fire spotter. Discover how ZoomLock can help you be more efficient and productive. Visit ZoomLock.com for more information. I'm on the old trusty Goodman. Yep. July the 4th. Checking things out. I said it was blowing out warm air, but the compressor's running now. I figured it'd be a run capacitor, but the compressor's running. Got my trusty fan down here. Yep. And let's see what the old good man of trolls up to. No good. Do you believe it's 410A? Let's see. Maybe not. Yeah, no, it's 410A. 25 PSI. Looks like we got some frost on there, too. Let me see if the fan's working. The fan is also working. So now we're going to go on to checking the high and low side charge and comparing it with what's happening with hopefully the expansion valve might be our culprit here. Well, not hopefully, but it might be. Guys, our coil is frozen up here on the old good man of Trolladyka, whatever. I mean, it's not frozen up on the bottom. Now that doesn't, some of you might say, hey, maybe some of the cap tubes are restricted or something like that. I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think low charge, because low charge can cause the coil to freeze up unevenly. And it doesn't have to be, doesn't have to have made it all the way through the coil yet. So, we shall see. I'm going to go get a bite to eat, and we'll see where it ends up after I do that. Hopefully it'll thaw out, and I'm able to check it. Guys, it's been about an hour or so. I think it was like 11.30 when I left over there. It's 12.17 now, so I'm going to head back and see if some of that ice has melted. I left the blower running. So we're going to see if it's melted off yet, so I can check the charge on it. Charge is probably going to be low, so we'll see what happens. We'll double check the TXV is operating properly, make sure we don't have like a restricted area there where the head pressure is real high and the suction pressure is real low. I watched a few videos during lunchtime. I watched HVACR Junkie. He makes really good videos. He was doing a refrigeration conversion, I think on a beer cooler to 407C. And then I hit next after his video was over. And it was Jim Pitnato's video, but it was under a different name. So someone had stolen his video, which I've seen a lot of lately. Uh, my videos have been stolen. I know Steve's videos get stolen a lot. Ralph's videos, I see that a lot. So every time you do that, every time you recognize one of the videos, go ahead and report it so YouTube finds out about it. Because a lot of people are getting ripped off by these guys on YouTube. So that's just a little side note. Let's head back over to the job and see if we're thawed out. As you can see, it's all thawed out on the outside here. And our standing pressure has gone from 50 to over 200, so that's a good sign. But we'll get her fired up and see exactly what it looks like while she's running. 72.6 on the supply air. Temperature difference is up to about 7 degrees. We started at a zero, so that's a little bit better. 79.3 on the return. 78.2 on the suction line. So we've got a superheat of around 38. So we need to add some more gas. We're going to bring that down. Even though it's a TXV, we should have a superheat in the... 10 to 20 range at least. So we're gonna keep adding a little bit more gas, see what we can do there, and bring that split up. Probably it'll be probably 13, 14 degrees when we're all said and done because of the high humidity inside. We have about a 13 degree spread now. We look at our gauges. Obviously they're much higher. So we have a falling superheat put it on the line for something. We don't have much stuff going then again we're wide open. So I'm gonna leave it like this so we can come back and do a leak check whenever I have a past the holiday anyway. So those of us with dirty hands, blood stains intertwine right away each morning. We grind it out another time the faces in the mirror and not as young as they were but they're proud.